Hello guys, welcome back. So today guys, I'm actually going to be eating some tortellini, cheese tortellini. And um, I basically, this is actually like frozen, it, it's already frozen like uh, tortellini that you find in a grocery store. You know, it was already frozen. I really didn't feel like cooking tonight, so I just did that, and I put some sauce on top. So, we're going to see how it tastes. I know it's going to be good, but, you know, you never know. So, let me say my grace first. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Thank you for everything you have done for me, Lord, this year, and everything you have done for everybody else. Bless everyone is going through a hard time, Lord, and they need your strength and your power. Thank you, Lord, for giving my uh, husband the opportunity to be able to work for the whole winter. We were uh, kind of worried about that, but you stretched it out and you made it happen, Lord. Thank you so much. Bless my husband and make sure that he's safe and all his co-workers. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, guys... Okay, so I have my um, Parmesan cheese here, and I have a water and ginger ale. I don't know. I like drinking ginger ale. It's something about ginger ale that um, my stomach is not so upset, because sometimes my stomach gets upset when I eat, but when I drink a lot of water and ginger ale... Yeah. Hold on, let me do my thumbnail. Okay. So guys, we got a job interview at some cleaning company for um for a warehouse or something. But I don't even know if I really even want the job. I'm just on a whole nother job level. I actually have I actually have a commercial that I have to do at YMCA. And it's paid. I had to actually call the other place because... I actually had another um, commercial that I had to do, but the one that my agent got me, it pays more money. But guys, when you get your agent... You want to make sure that you do research. I got a good agent. That's when you first starting off. You want to make sure that you have patience. Because sometimes you're going to feel like that your agent is not getting you work. But believe me, they are. You just got to give them time because they have a lot of, they want to make sure that all the clients, all the actors that they deal with, their clients, they want to make sure that everybody's getting work, not just one person. So sometimes you like really have to have patience.
Well, they should really do it. And guys, this is actually um great value. I know there's a lot of this stuff is good. That's my paper off. I'm gonna just put it back. more comfortable. I was actually watching, <clears throat> excuse me, the Cosby. I haven't been watching the news neither. But I don't know if y'all heard about that guy that killed his family. <clears throat> I think they had two kids and she was pregnant. Yeah, I think they had two kids and she was pregnant and he killed all of them. He got life with no possibility of parole, so he ain't never getting out. I don't know what it is about. <laughs> I don't know what it is about men that they they don't want um they got killed killed a woman and stuff because they so bad. I don't get it. It's good. And you should see him. He ain't got no emotion, nothing, no remorse or nothing. He just sitting there like, yeah, I did it. I had tomato sauce is good too. I forgot the name. Mm.
Then the one guy in the um, mm, you and in the real, like she want me to meet him. He was like, "Well, what kind of skills is she? Is she gonna be able to handle it? Well, what kind of skills does she have?" I was like, "Man, I got a college degree. That's what kind of skills I have. What kind of skills do you have?" So, <clears throat> mm. excuse me, because it's only paying um ten dollars, and that's real love for a supervisor. Especially with all the duties they had to do. That's kind of some low pay for a supervisor. That means if they paying that low. Excuse me. I bet the raises are whack. They probably do like 75 cent or 25 cent raises and stuff. No. So she told me. That. Um, you know, Monday or whatever, that I could um come up there and meet her up there, and I could see what um the supervisor position consists of, you know, before I take it. So I like that. But you never want to go somewhere and get yourself in something that you really want. But I'm just trying to step out of my boundaries because, like, I did housekeeping for, for three years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why go back to housekeeping when you're offered a supervisor position? But I can always, you know what I'm saying, if I'm having problems or whatever, I can always get tips. You know, from YouTube, because you should YouTube got all kinds of stuff. How to be a better boss, how tips on how to be a good supervisor. Because supervisor, it, it's more than just you know watching over people and stuff like that. You actually gotta know how to deal with cer certain situations because you gonna have um certain people that they bring up problems to work. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to know how to deal with that. Excuse me. And if you, excuse me, have it dealt with people like that, then <clears throat> that's where a lot of um, supervisors, they fail. Now, and you definitely can't let them uh, walk all over you because if you're a nice supervisor, I've seen it done before. People will walk all over you. You can't let them do that.
So you got to let them know that you understand and you're a good self supervisor, but you're not going to let nobody walk all over you neither. And she was like, she said, you know how I'm in on I said, yeah. Well, they see this, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know they see this big old wedding ring, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. Never. And I don't even want them trying to come, come at me like that, neither. And you're going to have time when people call out. Somebody call out, you got to call as many people as you can to see um, if somebody can do the work. But you know, if somebody can't do the work and you, you, and you add somebody else on the job to do it, You know, that might get you a strike right there. But just for instance, say somebody, you ask them to do it, and they'd be like, no. Nah then you pretty much are going to have to do it yourself and then whatever punishment you're going to do to them because I don't care who you are or where you were, you cannot tell a supervisor, no, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not my job. That's the first thing is your behind going to be out that door. And a lot of employees they don't understand that stuff comes up in people's lives and we don't have no control over. So it might be a time. Everybody ain't going to show up to work all the time. It's going to be a time of somebody going to be like, look, I ain't going to be able to make it in there. And when I'm there, I'm going to make sure I have a pay up for me. So I know what the protocol is for that. Do you uh, call to see if somebody else can come in want to make some more hours? And what happens if you don't get nobody that want to do it? Do you ask the people that's already there at work to do it? You know, or... You know, what do you do? Because if they say no, <clears throat> you got to punish them. You can't just let somebody be like, look, um, such and such called out. Like, Kim called out. Can you, um... Can you do her work? And they be like, no, I'm not doing that. That's not my job. And then you just be like, oh, okay. And then you do it. And then you go on from there. Don't say nothing else to them. <laughs> no, you cannot do that. You, when you're a supervisor, you got to lay your foot down. Now, it may it may be hard for you at first to lay your foot down and let, these, let them know that uh, if I tell you to do something, you know, that's why I mean to do it. And even if I tell somebody to do something, I would help the person. You know, I won't be no um no sloppy, like lazy, like lazy supervisor, like I see a lot of people do. They just sit in the office all day. <clears throat> and they wait until you bring a problem to them. I can't stand them type of supervisors. But it's a lot of them out there like like that. I'm telling you, a lot of them. Now. I wouldn't be that type of su supervisor. I would just be like, look, um, <clears throat> Kim called out and 
I just wanted to know if you could, um, when you finish, if you could, I, I'm going to help you though, if you could help me in here in, in this room. And I'm sure they'd be like, sure, I'll help you. But that's the way you got to put it. You can't just be like, can you do that? And then go back in the, um, in the office and say, you got to be one of them supervisors that help out. So they'd be like, oh, I like that supervisor. My supervisor, they help out all the time. Because um, when I was working at Taj Mahal, I'm going to tell you, um, it was just one shot. You know what I'm saying? It was just one shot. And I'm telling you, he was the best chef supervisor I ever had in my life because <clears throat> it was this one um, particular place that nobody liked to work at that buffet, and it was the dessert station. And at this dessert station, I'm telling you, man, when I'm saying that it was busy, it it was it was like a hard story over there. Nobody wanted to do it, but one time, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I was struggling over there, and I even asked the chef, I was like, can you bring me somebody um, over there? I said, because I need help. And he was like, oh, he said, yeah, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. But he never got to it. So um, the chef I'm talking about, his name was Chef Quinn. So the chef I'm talking about, um, he actually came over there. And uh, I didn't know he was over there at first. You know, I was trying to help this other customer because they was asking what kind of... Um, Cause we had um we would have our um cherry jubilee sometime. We would have our banana foster or we would have our um banana foster or chocolate fudge or chocolate fudge and um cherry jubilee. They would switch it up like that. So they wanted to know um what it was. Even if the sign was out there, um, they would still ask because you know you had a lot of people that came in there, they were undercover. And um, they would pretty much see how your uh, their customer service was and stuff. I remember one of the wild people. They that's what they call them. they call them wild people. And um, this one the chef that came to me, he was like, yeah, he was like, you almost had a um a wild because I think you got like a hundred dollars. I was like, really? She was like, yeah, but she said you ain't go the extra mile. I was like, I didn't. I said, I I, I said. That's false, but you know, anyway. But um when I turned around, he was over there, you know, plating up um cakes and stuff, and he played it up the he played up the two sides for me. And I was like, I said, Oh my god, I said, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. He was like, You're welcome. He was a good chef. <clears throat> a very good chef. So that's the kind of people we need. That's the kind of people and supervisors we need in this world. We need more people like him because you got some supervisors. They don't do nothing. They just sit there and they don't, they really don't care. If somebody call out, they're going to tell you to do the work and they ain't going to help you do it. So basically you got to do your work and somebody else's. Huh? I know how that is, but <clears throat> That was really good. That that was actually great value, guys. The tortellini, great value. And it's in a frozen section. And I think I got it from, I got that from Walmart. And great value, they got some good stuff. You need to try out their stuff. It's very affordable. And it's very good. As you see, uh, I clean my plate. See that? I clean my plate. So, guys, um, that is it. I just wanted to bring that little news to you guys that um, I definitely got to get out of here. And I'm definitely going to sleep early tonight because I have an audition that I have to do tomorrow. You know, I got a part for the um, for uh, YMCA. It's like a, I guess it's like a commercial thing about losing weight in their membership and stuff. You know how they put that on, on TV and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I got to do that. So, guys, I'm so thankful that you guys came here today with me and that you you were here with me with my dinner and you listened to me babble on and on and on. But I do appreciate all of my subscribers. Yes, I do. I love you guys. I wouldn't be anywhere without you guys. So, you know, talk to your friends and tell them to check my channel out and subscribe to my channel. So I can bring you guys more videos. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I love you guys. Peace.